history of peace and justice in America in the modern era. An entire chapter should be devoted to the Reverend George Regas. Today, we gather to confront the greatest obscenity imaginable. The U.S. has spent more than four trillion dollars on these wars, Afghanistan and Iraq, and we will spend trillions more with the wounded that come home, the servicemen and servicewomen. Forty percent of the soldiers come home wounded. Well, George uh, has been faithful for a very long time in the prophetic sense, in the sense of being uh, a voice that truly does speak truth to power. Four trillion dollars for the wars and 41% of our children live in poverty in the United States of America. That's the greatest obscenity I can imagine. Thank you. I'm Rabbi Stephen Jacobs, and I'm here as just one of a number of people in the interreligious community who has come to honor Reverend Dr. George Regas for his uniqueness, his courage and speaking out against war. He has been one of the most significant voices in the country in a leadership position. So many out of work, so many losing their homes, and the rich get richer, and so many remain poor, and God weeps, God weeps at what God's children are doing. As those of you who know George and me know that we met one another in 1967 at a rally in Exposition Park protesting the war in Vietnam. It was a raucous, rowdy, motley gathering it had none of the refinement that you might think would fit well with a rector from a distinguished church in Pasadena wearing his clergy collar or a Bella rabbi in his button-down white shirt. <laughs> As I listened to him that day, I was awed by the enormous power of his words and by his great moral passion. And I love the way that his body moved as he spoke and the soft accents of Knoxville, which are still today in his voice. That's where it all began. And it deepened and deepened and brought us to be together as we walked on the same path, the path that leads toward the achievement of justice and peace. And so one thing that I have decided to do and 14 others are joining me is to commit an act of civil disobedience to allow ourselves to be arrested just as a symbol of how deeply we feel about peace and how much we oppose the war. All the resources of this great country that could heal are used to destroy. I hate war for that. And so we're going to be arrested, a small symbol of how deeply committed we are to bring peace to this world. Thank you.
continue to be resolute in our work for peace and justice. So may the Great Spirit bless you and keep you. Make his and her face to shine upon you. Lift up their light upon you and grant you peace and joy this day and until the end of time. Amen. Amen. Amen.